Hello and welcome to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, we are going to understand about how to install Red Hat Process Automation Manager on a developer's machine. Here are the steps to be followed. First, create an account at developers.redhat.com. Only when you have an account created, you will be able to download the installers for Red Hat Process Automation Manager. So, create an account at developers.redhat.com as the first step. And then log in using that account into developers.redhat.com. Once you have logged in, you can download the installer for JBoss Enterprise Application Platform and Red Hat Process Automation Manager. To be able to install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager, you will need to first install the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. So please download the two installers. Once you have downloaded the two installers, using the installer for JBoss Enterprise Application Platform, install this software. And once you have completed the installation successfully, then install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager. As a last step, you can verify the installation of Red Hat Process Automation Manager by accessing the Business Central. We will perform all these steps and we will see how to install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager on a developer's machine. So without further ado, let us execute each of these steps one by one. Here I am logged in into developers.redhat.com using my account ID. Once I have logged in successfully, let's download the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform and the Red Hat Process Automation Manager installers. In another tab, just search for the installer for the Red Hat JBoss Enterprise Application Platform and you will be able to find the link from where you can download the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. Open that and click on download to download the installer. Make sure that you have logged in into developers.redhat.com to be able to proceed with the downloading of the installer. So now that the installer is getting downloaded, let's also download the Red Hat Process Automation Manager's installer. You can search for the installer for Red Hat Process Automation Manager and you will be able to download the installer from the developers.redhat.com. So here I am downloading the installer for Red Hat Process Automation Manager as well. As you can see here, the downloading of the Red Hat Process Automation Manager's installer is started. So once you have downloaded the installers for JBoss Enterprise Application Platform and the Process Automation Manager, first let us install the Red Hat JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. Double click on the installer that got downloaded. As the installer starts, you will have to read through the license agreement and accept the terms and conditions. After accepting the terms and conditions, click on next and give the path where you want to install the JBoss 
Enterprise Application Platform. I am proceeding with the default installation configurations. You will have to set the password for the administrator login into the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. Click on next after entering the password that you want to use for the admin login for the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. It will show an overview screen where you can see the installation location that you have selected for installing this application and the default configurations that you have selected. Click on next to proceed with the installation. The components have got installed. Click on next to configure the runtime environment. On the last step, click on next to configure the required shortcuts and to complete the installation. Click on done to complete the installation. Now that we have completed the installation of enterprise application platform, let us proceed with the installation of process automation manager. Double click on the installer that you have downloaded for the Red Hat Process Automation Manager. As the installer starts, you will have to read through the license agreement and accept the terms and conditions. Click on next to proceed with the installation. As a second step, you will have to provide the path where you want to install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager. This is an important step where the path where you want to install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager should be configured to the same path where you have installed the enterprise application platform. So make sure while you are configuring the path to install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager, select the path where you have already installed the JBoss enterprise application platform. Click on next to proceed with the installation. We want to install the business central as well as the key server. So I have selected both business central and key server. Click on next to proceed with the installation. Provide a password for the administrator login into the process automation manager. I am using the default selection of the admin key server and reset all and proceeding with the installation. On the overview screen, you will be able to verify the installation path and the components that you have selected to be installed and the other configurations that you have selected. Click on next to proceed with the installation.
as you can see here the two components business central and the key server got installed successfully let's click on next and proceed with the next steps in the installation configure the runtime environment Configuring the runtime environment is completed. So click on next to complete the installation. Installation has been completed successfully. Click on done. So now we have installed the JBoss enterprise application platform and the Red Hat process automation manager on this machine. Let's start the JBoss enterprise application platform and then we'll access the business central to see whether the installation is successful. Go to the installation location of the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform. Under the bin folder in the installation location of the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform, if you are using a Windows machine, you will find a bat file standalone.bat if you are using a mac or a linux machine you can use the shell script here i am opening the command prompt and i will run the standalone.bat file It will take few minutes to start the server. Once the server is started successfully, you will see these logs inside the console. Now let's access the business central and see whether we are able to log in and use the business central. You can access the business central by using this URL localhost 8080 business central is the context path. As you can see here, now we are able to access the business central. Let's try to log in and see whether we are able to successfully log in into the business central. I am using the admin username and the admin password that we have used while installing the business central to log in into this console. It will take a couple of minutes to launch the business central. As you can see here, now we are able to launch the business central and use the business central on this machine. So we are able to successfully install the Red Hat Process Automation Manager on this machine. Thank you.